All right, so welcome everyone to game week two of Flames. We have Woke on seat one, Sean on seat two, Shane on seat three, and Gokul is on seat four. Best of luck, everyone. Let's start the game. This one Good is one. for uh yeah. for Roko for uh for round one. Here we go. You will hear the scream of an animal, the size of a small dog, which was used to create Shilob, the spider shriek in the Lord of the Rings, the return of the king. Known to generate one of the strongest bites per unit body mass of any predatory mammal, which carnivorous marsupial is this? Hey, Will, shut up and listen. Wombat. Not wombat. Sean? Fossa. No, sorry. Shane? Uh, uh, Tasmanian devil. That is correct. Oh, okay. Tasmanian devil. Correct answer. Next one is Sparoko again. Some say it was built on the site of a Native American burial ground. Others that the area was cursed by a shaman after the local tribe was forcibly expelled. These legends concerned which Nazca Speedway in Alabama, which has become notorious for fatal accidents on and off the track, and which famously features in the title of a 2006 Will Ferrell comedy. Taladega. Is right. Says Taladega. Next one for Sean. In Toy Story, Sid's dog is named Scud. This is a reference to the missiles containing biological warfare substances used by whom? That raged four years before the movie, uh, before the movie released. Oh, right, okay. Um, uh, Saddam Hussein. Correct answer. Okay. Next one for you. Financial Times Business Book of the Year Award is an annual award given to the best business book of the year. The 2016 award to the man who knew the life and times of, uh, redacted by Sebastian Malabai is whose biography? In the New York Times Review, Andrew Ross Sorkin writes, Redacted is a fascinating subject because for so long he was considered a genius, only to later be blamed for the financial crisis. Five seconds. Oh, I really don't know. Uh, Lewis. No, sorry. Gokul. Pass. Roko. Pass. Shane. Pass. Okay. This is Alan Greenspan. Okay. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Makes sense. Next one, Shane. What was first developed in 1925 by the Brazilian brothers Carlos Oswaldo Gastão Jr. and Helio Gracie after Carlos was taught a hybrid of traditional Japanese and Kodokan martial arts by a traveling Japanese judoka, Mitsuyu Maeda? Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. Is the answer correct? Next one. The African blue lilies represent Kenya and therefore symbolize ancestral heritage. The jasmine is in tribute to Hawaii. The birthplace and chrysanthemums were used to denote Chicago, where this icon began his career. What 2018 unveiling is being described? Barack Obama? Prompt on uh, on Barack Obama. I need something more along with that. Yeah. 
Memorial Library. Okay, uh, we'll pass you for now, Gokul. Mm. Statue of Barack Obama. Not statue of Barack Obama, Roko. That those were my guesses, boss. Sean, but I think it's his official portrait, Barack Obama's presidential portrait. Yeah, that is the correct answer. By oh, okay. Day. Yeah, Obama's presidential portrait is what you need. As a and I realized I said memorial. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but yeah, I mean, I think it's obvious what you meant. <laughs> yeah, I know. I just yeah. <laughs> okay, Google. Flash FM is in-game pop music station on Grand Theft Auto Vice City. Plays the song "Dance All Days" by which English new wave band? Their two-word name is Chinese for "yellow bell" in English, and is the first note in the Chinese classical music scale. Answer, please. Pass. Roku. I got the first word. Pass. Shane. Pass. Oh, Sean. Uh, Wang Chung. Correct. That's right. right. Wang is, but oh, it's not even Wang. Okay. Next one, Google. Between 1977 and 1986, and again between 1994 and 1996, Elvis Costello was backed by the attractions. What band has backed him since 2002? Although their name might imply they are not the real deal, the lineup is very similar to the original attractions, absent only bassist Bruce Thomas. Five seconds. Answer, please. Pass. Roku. Pass. Shane. Pass. Sean. The imitations. Not the imitations. This is uh. the imposters. Oh. Okay. Oh. The sense round one. Band. Imitations would have been my wild guess too. Yeah, yeah that was. Yeah, the new band really. Okay, we enter round two, starting again with Roko. Here we go. This 2005 book with, a, with the subtitle A Rogue Economist Explores the Hidden Side of Everything was shortlisted for the 2005 Financial Times Business Book of the Year Award, but did not win. The brand grew into a multimedia franchise, including a sequel book, a documentary film, a blog, etc. Economics is the right answer. Yeah. Next for you. The Silence of the Girls, The Woman of Troy, and the to be released, The Voyage Home are a series of the novels by Pat Parker, a retelling of which ancient classic from the perspective of the woman. Five seconds. The Odyssey. No, sorry. Shane? The Iliad? Yes, that is the right answer. Why is there a the voyage home then? I know. I was <laughs> I was only gonna go for the other half of <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Next one, Sean. Which style of boxing utilizes relaxed hands with the forearms in front of the face and the fist at the nose eye level? thus offering extra protection along with the ability to jab an opponent's face. It gets its name from the fact that it looks like the boxer is playing a baby's game. Hmm. Okay. 
Peekaboo? Yes. Okay, next. Bob Mortimer's comic fiction debut novel, The Satsuma Complex, won the 2023 edition of which award? The Visual. Zoom in, please. Sorry. Yeah, sure. No, I can zoom. Sure. Any answer? I uh, I don't really. Um, the. I'd... Okay, I have to pass you. Sorry. I, I can't see what's going to be. So. Pass. Okay, Gokul. Pass. And Shane. Pass. Passing. Okay, it's. I did something. This is Bollinger Everyman Woodhouse Price. Oh, okay. Okay. Next one for Shane. Identify this BTS song, the Korean version of which was released in the 2016 album Wings. The video has several cultural references, including to the classical artwork. Without much toil, the title may remind you of a Winston Churchill speech from I should know this, but it pass. Uh, Roko? Pass. Gokul? Pass. Sean? Pass, pass. Blood, yeah. tears, and sweat. That is correct. Uh, did you know the song or did you get it from the speech? <laughs> yeah, it's, it's more the speech, and I feel like I have seen that video before. Yeah. Next one, Shane. The girls of. Uh, of Bella Gutman is said to afflict which Portuguese football club who have not won a European trophy since they denied their Hungarian manager who had won them back-to-back -back European Cups in 1961 and 1962 a pay rise. They have lost five European Cup finals in this time, most recently 1990. Porto. No. Roku? Benfica. That's the right answer. Okay, Gokul. Which book by Peter Warren Finlay, written under a pen name, won the uh, 2003 Man Booker Prize as well as the 2003 Bollinger Prize. It tells the story of titular Texan teenager whose best friend Jesus Navarro murders their classmates in the school and kills himself. Answer, please. Pass. Roko? Pass. Shane? Pass. Sean? Um, Vernon Godlittle? That is correct. Next one, Goku. Barbara King Solver's 2022 novel, Demon Copperhead, that jointly won the Pulitzer Prize for Literature, is an adaptation of Charles Dickens' David Copperfield. David Copperfield becomes Damon Fields, who has the nickname Damon Copperhead, owing to the color of his hair. The character Ryan Piles, also known as a U-Haul, football team equipment handler and exhibiting false humility, is an adaptation of which hypocritical and villainous character. A British rock band formed in the late 60s is named after him.
5 seconds pass roko yara hip that is correct <clears throat> okay round 3 once again starting with roko for afshniado of a fashion sites like the pop poshmark style flip now defunct and thread mark cater to what specific target market in contrast to the target market for sites dealing in fast fashion High fashion, not high fashion. Kokun, thrift, not thrift. Shane, pass. Sean, slow move fashion. Sorry, can you repeat? And that slow move fashion. No, not that even. This is the I mean, second yeah, upcycled used clothes or pre-worn clothes. Uh, okay, okay, fine. Okay. Yeah. That's okay. In contrast to okay. yeah, yeah, kind of thrift. I don't know. Okay. In boxing, so isn't thrift is... similar? Yeah. yeah. Sorry. So for the previous question, isn't thrift similar to that? Yeah, might be. Yeah, I would say so. I would. I would. Say... Hey, thrift. I. I think. I think. One second. I'll go back to that. Yeah. So, uh, Sean said thrift, right? T h e f t thrift. No, no I, I said I said slow. Gokul said thrift. Yeah. Gokul, Gokul, Gokul said, said thrift. I said thrift. Yeah, yeah. Uh, okay. Can you undo, undo yeah. and give a point? I th yeah. Uh, I think uh, Sean and uh, Cheyenne are better versed in English, but for me, I think it's the same thing. So. Yeah, I mean, if you go to a thrift shop, you're going to yeah, a they're about the same. Yeah. Thing. yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Okay. Oh, the, the clothes in our, our second hand clothes, yeah. Yeah. No, 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 no. No, no, no go back. No. no, back one more. Go back. Yeah. yeah. Gokul. 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 Gokul gets it. Yeah. Okay. Gokul gets the point. Yeah. Yeah, like the, the clothes in a thread shop at second hand, yeah. 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 Next one for you. In boxing, what term is used for a fighter who has etiquette skill but is not of the caliber of a contender? In general, the term is used in sports for a player who is reliable but not outstanding. The term refers to a worker who has learned a trade and works for another person, usually by the day. Pass. Shane? Pass. Kukul? Anything? Pass. Pass, pass. Sean? Journeyman? That's right. That's it. Yeah. Next one, Sean. Usually consumed during the winter months, which Turkish drink is made with the stem or tuber of the wild orchid, which is boiled, dried, and ground to produce a starchy powder. Image shows the root tuber. Uh, yeah. No, I can't remember what this is called, Pass. Shane? Pass. Uh, Kokun? Pass. And Roku. I can only remember one and it's not this one, so pass. Okay. This is salad. Uh, okay. Something new to learn. Good. Yeah. Identify the author of Psychotic Reactions and Carburetted and carburated Down, the work of a legendary critic, Rock and Roll, as literature and literature as rock and roll. A collection of essays by the legendary music critic who died at 33. In the 2000 movie Almost Famous, he is portrayed by the actor Philip Seymour Hoffman. Lester Bangs. Correct. Next one for Shane. The 2011 Financial Times Business Book of the Year Award was awarded to Poor Economics, a radical rethinking of the way to fight global poverty, co-authored by which 
professors of economics at MIT. They would go on to win the 2019 Nobel Memorial Prize in Economic Sciences along with Michael Kramer. Two names are required. Yeah, pass. Kokul? Abhijit Banerjee and Esther Duflo. Next one for Shane. The scene is from a 1966 film adapted from a play, first stage in October 1962. The response is to what question? I am George. I am. Five seconds. Who's afraid of Virginia Woolf? Well done. Is it? <laughs> <laughs> like I'm just trying to think of something that's a classic. Oh, nicely, nicely, <laughs> yeah. nicely done. Well done. <laughs> yeah. And Gokul, what epithet or adjective is normally applied to this watercolor of Franklin Delano Roosevelt, painted by Elizabeth Shomotov? Miss Shomotov was commissioned to paint a portrait of uh, President Roosevelt and started her work around noon on April 12, 1940. <laughs> Five. Little man, not the little man. Coco, pass. Shane, pass. Sean, hmm. something hmm. like a posthumous. I will prompt you. Um, uh, the the deathly portraits. I don't really know. No, not that. This is called as an, or something. Yeah, unfinished, uh, or incomplete. Yeah. That was the answer, uh, yeah. but not okay. posthumous or dead. Uh, yeah, yeah. I thought it was very well. Good problem there. Cool, cool. Which British online fast fashion brand had in its original debut the tagline, buy what you see on film and TV, referring to the customers being able to shop for costumes as they are seen on screen? It is currently listed on the London Stock Exchange with the stock ticker code ASC. ASOS. Is correct. That's silly on the screen. Yeah. Okay, round four, Roko. In Toy Story 3, Barbie goes through Ken's clothing collection and pulls out a Nehru jacket before tearing it off. Before tearing, she says, this is from what, 1967. This is a reference to a famous villain portrayed by English actor Donald uh, Pleasance, who made the Nehru jacket popular in the film culture after his appearance in which 1967 film. Passage to India. No. Shane? Pass. Kokul? Pass. And Sean. Uh, well, I'll pass, but I'll know when I see it. Says you only live twice. Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. Okay. Next one. What Chinese fitness regime includes imitating the movements of animals and birds and is a group of physical and breathing exercises for the healthcare? The system was designed by Hua Tuo, a leading physician of the Eastern Han Dynasty. Chinese or English name will do. Pass. Shane? Tai Chi? Can you repeat? Tai Chi? No, not Tai Chi, sorry. Kokun? Pass. Sean? Uh, 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 pass, I thought. That's what it was. 
practices the five animal exercises or the Wu Ching Chi exercise. Right. Sure. GTA Vice City features the song Atomic, considered one of the greatest songs written by which American rock band. The band adopted this name based on the comments made by the drug drivers, catcalling their lead singer, Debbie Harry. Um, Blondie. Yes, correct. Next one. Sometimes sporting superstitions involve good rather than bad luck, which English football team were famous during the 20th century for their habit of winning trophies in years ending in one. The streak was broken by the club's failure to win a trophy in 2001. Their only trophy this century is the 2008 Football League Cup. Spurs. Yes, that is correct. I just heard that the other day. <laughs> okay, and Shane, first one. According to Time in 2023, which online fast fashion site was termed the world's most popular fashion brand, founded by Chris Su and based in China, this brand frequently gets beamed on TikTok and Instagram by the influencers, radiating with joy. The brand might look like a typo, but could also be a play on words for fashionable women. Sheen? Yes, Sheen is correct. Next. She and, oh. In Toy Story 4, when Buzz Lightyear constantly clicks his chest buttons in order to listen to his inner voice, as Woody suggested, open the pod bay doors, is accidentally heard. This is a reference to a famous line from which movie, where a sentient character was being disobedient upon learning his master's true intentions. Two thousand one, a space odyssey. Correct answer. Next one to Kokul. A Japanese roasted green tea. Which kind of tea is made with bunka or sencha green tea that is roasted over high heat? During roasting, the tea attains a, the tea attains a certain brown color, and is usually has roast like notes of coffee, cocoa, and caramel. Matcha. Not matcha. Roko? Pass. Shane? Pass. And Sean? Pass. This tea is called hojicha. And Koko. Blank 1, The Voice, and Blank 2, The Chairman by James Kaplan is a two-volume biography of which entertainer? The blanks together form this person's first and last name. Five seconds. So please. Pass. Coco. Pass. Shane. Frank Sinatra. Correct answer. That's right. All right. And halfway done. We are to round five. First one for Roko. He too was a tempter. He too was a link to the second. The evil world with which I no longer wanted to have anything to do. This narration from Blood, Sweat and Tears by BTS are words from which 1916 building Roman by Nobel laureate Herman Hesse. The book was first published under the pseudonym Emil Sinclair, also the name of the protagonist and narrator of the story. He too was a tempter. He too was a link to the second. The evil world with which I no longer wanted to have anything to do. Okay. 
just let me know if you want to want to like play it again. It got uh, closed by mistake by me uh, in between. I'll play it again anyway. So that no, no need. Okay. Uh, step and move. No, sorry. Gokul? Pass. Shane? Siddhartha. No. Sean? Yeah, I'm coming across this call. Pass. Okay, it's called Damien. Uh, yeah. Wrote a question on this like two months ago. Thanks. What batting band whose members have included Stevan Von Zandt and Clarence Clemens took its name from the address of a piano keyboard player, David Sankew's mother's address at uh, 1107 blank blank in Belmore, New Jersey. Contrary to the legend, Miss Sancheo's house was not near the corner of blank blank and 10th Avenue. E Street. E Street Band. Correct. Next one, Sean. At the end of the Lord of the Rings, the return of the king, Gandalf and Frodo return to the Grey Heavens or Mithlond, an elvish port city in the realm of Linden, Middle Earth. The colors and the looks of the Grey Heavens were inspired by whose paintings? He used this striking reddish orange hue in this violent marine paintings after the eruption of Mount Tempura. Um, Turner, correct. That's right. And your next one. The title of this 1996 Japanese romantic comedy drama film, directed by Masayuki Suo, refers to a song from the uh, from the musical The King and I. It was remade as a 2004 film starring Richard Gere, Jennifer Lopez. Which film? Tommy. Well, it's quite simple, Apolka. You count one, two, three, and one, two, three, and one, two, three, and one, two, three, and on a bright cloud of music. One, two, three, and one, two, three, and shall we then say good night and mean goodbye? One, two, three, and oh, perchance when the last little. Oh, God, what's this called? I'm not, I'm, this is bad, but I'm not going to remember it. Pass. Roko? Pass. Roko? Made in Manhattan? No, sorry. Shane? Wedding planner? No. This is Shall We Dance. Oh. Uh, I, I assumed it couldn't be that because you heard it, but okay. And Shane, your next one. Among the many wonderful songs on the critically acclaimed soundtrack of GTA Vice City is which Michael Jackson song, first released in 1983. Jackson's performance of the song on the TV special Motown 25, Yesterday, Today, Forever, introduced a number of his signatures, including the moonwalk, Black sequined jacket and high and high water pants. What? Answer, please. Beat it. No? Roko? Billie Jean. Correct. Uh, why is it Billie Jean over... Okay. I thought Billie Jean because that's what he wore in the video, but... Uh... Okay. Next. Although he is more famously associated with Crazy Horse, what colorful name did Neil Young give to the backing band he assembled for his 1988 album, The Notes for You? After being sued by Harold Melvin, whose vocal group had a near identical name, Young was forced to re-christen his band Ten Men Vocal. Okay. Uh, 
10 seconds. Harvest Gold. No. Roku? Pass. Google? Pass. Sean? Mm, yeah, pass. I wouldn't know what James would do. This is the Blue Notes. Oh, I, I thought there'd be some change in Blue Notes rather than it being literally identical. But okay. Recent. Next one, Google. I thought, I thought the word would be changed in some way. Uh, mm -hmm. no Identify the, the subject of this edge shade draper painting seen in the background of the screenshot from the BSNT video. Seen on the left is an image of the uh, of the painting which depicts a central character who is dead and is surrounded by mournful lips. Answer, please. Mm, Kane. No. Roko. No. Pass. Okay. Shane. Pass. Sean. Oh, um. Uh, I. Uh... Anything. Icarus? No. Icarus is correct, yes. Oh, okay. Oh, nice. Yeah, that's right. Okay, Kokul, your next one. This company uh, produces body monitors and trackers for the athletes. Though they don't sell in India yet, they become hugely popular when uh, cricket stars were seen wearing them in the broadcasted games. Which company that doesn't count steps, instead claiming to measure only the uh, matrix scientifically proven to make a significant impact on physical and mental health? Five seconds. Any answer? I'll pass. I'll pass. I'll pass. Okay. Roku? Pass. Shane? Fitbit? Not Fitbit. Sean? Uh, I can't remember what these are. Uh, oh. oh. Uh, anything? No, pass. Pass. Eh? This is called Vu. Oh, okay. It wasn't even what I was trying to remember. Tremendous. No, there's Next. there's a W W on the image. I just yeah. Oh, I couldn't yeah. see that. My eyes are clearly very yeah. bad. Yeah, that, that's why I leaned in towards the monitor. Next one, Roko, for round six. Fermented and alcoholic, which powerful sounding beverage is derived from honey and consumed mainly in Ethiopia and Eritrea. It is a cultural icon and widely considered the national drink of Ethiopia. Flavor and taste depend on its honey source, Ethiopia being the largest producer of honey in Africa. Pass. Okay. Kokul? Pass. Chain? Pass. Sean? Edge. Edge is correct. EJ? Yeah, that's right. Why is it what? powerful? Why is it powerful? Is it's, it a pun in, some... in Hindi, in Hindi, it means fast and powerful. That's right. Maybe. Oh, I was like, Tej is the only drink I know from Ethiopia. <laughs> <laughs> okay, next turn, Roko. The 2017 Bollinger Prize was awarded to Helen Fielding for which book in which the titular character is uh, pregnant and is unsure which of her ex-boyfriends is the father. It was also adapted into a 2016 film, the third film in the franchise, and a sequel to the 2004 film, Blank Blank, The Edge of Reason. I need the book. Pass. Okay. Kokul? Pass. Shane? Bridget Jones. Prompt? I need the book. Now. Bridget Jones' diary? No. Sean? Bridget Jones' baby? That is correct. I oh. should, shouldn't have prompted to Shane, but... Yeah, they, they said only this is the only acceptable answer, but it shouldn't be. 
I, f- I figure what the film was. I, I just didn't know what the uh, book. Yeah. I, yeah. Yeah. I guess I just spaced because it had pregnant. Oh, yeah. I should have picked up on that. Uh. Sure. Another famous portrait of a US president, the Athenium portrait, is also an unfinished painting. It is, however, familiar to most people as an engraving based on it appears on what familiar object? Oh, uh, God. I can never remember which president is on which. Um... Is it the dollar bill? Yeah, dollar bill is acceptable. Yeah. Okay. One dollar bill. Yeah, one dollar or simply dollar bill is also. Yeah, yeah. I, I think if you say dollar bill, that implies one. I think you say yeah. numbers. <laughs> That's good. Sure. Did that say anti prompt on the? Mm, no, it says for the if like any other denomination is there, then I'll show the answer once again. Sorry, sure. guys. That's That's correct for me. Yeah, one second. Uh, okay, pass. That was wrong. That wrong was for you. Correct. Okay, and this one, right next to the answer. Anti prompt if a player if a player mentions a different mm. denomination for mm. ten dollars. I did still wonder it was a one dollar bill. Yeah. Eight dollar. Sure. James by Percival Everett is expected to be published in May 2024. It is a retelling of which 19th century classic from the perspective of the titular character's friend Jim. Um, Huckleberry Finn. Yeah, that is correct. The adventures there, all that stuff. Next one. For Shane. What animal theme term in boxing describes a blow to the back of the head or to the base of the skull? Generally illegal due to its potential for severe injury or death, this technique had originally been developed to quickly kill the animals in uh, question without damaging their fur. Rabbit punch. That's right. This is a typical summer drink popularly consumed not only in the UAE, but also the entire Middle East region. It is a staple during Ramadan and is prepared in every household. A paste of dates, grape molasses is mixed with the rose water, ice and soaked almonds to make which refresher? We have pass. Okay. Roko? Pass. Gokul? Pass. And Shaw. Can't be that, I'll pass. It's called a jalab or a jalab. Okay, fine. Well, this looks like something, but it's clearly it's not that. Gokul. In the Lord of the Rings, The Return of the King, the Haradrim were initially highly inspired by the African culture until Philippa Boyens expressed concerns over offensiveness. They instead came to bear resemblance to the Gilbertese warriors of which country? The only country to stretch across all the four hemispheres. Five seconds. Yeah, any answer? Mali. Not Mali. Roko? Iribas. Correct. That's right. Iribas. Next. Yeah, that's right. Next one to Google. Portion from Roger Ebert review of which 1962 film? Making blank. He possibly thought of Billy Wilder's Sunset Boulevard, 1950, which starred Gloria Swanson as an aging movie queen living on in her mansion. He knew he was asking for trouble for pairing Davis and Crawford, but he guessed correctly that trouble would translate into a pet of him. But you saw the car coming. Yeah. Yeah. I hit the gates. my spine. What do you mean? All this time we could have been friends.
pass. Coco. What happened to baby Jane? Yeah, that's correct. Whatever happened. Yeah, that's okay. That's fine. All right, now uh, round seven, Goko. One of the in-game radio stations on GTA Vice City plays the song Wow by which British singer? A revival of one of her songs in 2022 made her the oldest female artist to have a number one on the UK charts. Pass. Gokul? Hello. Sorry? Pass. Anything? Passing, okay. Shane? Pass. Sean? Uh, Kate Bush. Correct. Uh, is she that old to <laughs> yeah. be the oldest to have number one? Yeah, I mean, uh, when I mean, to be the, honest, that, that kind of threw me off. I I don't know what, the when when one going heights. She was nine, so she would have been born. Yeah, maybe late fifties, early sixties, probably. Next. I'm, I'm quite bad at people like it. What words are, uh, are muted in this clip from a 1969 Sydney Pollock film based on a 1935 novel of the same name? She asked me to. <laughs> Obliging bastard. That's the only reason you got, kid. Pass. Google. Pass. Shane. Pass. Sean. Hmm. Yeah, I can't quite get to it. Pass. This is they shoot horses, don't they? Ah. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Sean. Later, more famously and simply called the band, by what name were Bob Dylan's backing band initially known? The name derived from the surname of the Canadian Rocky Belly singer they backed between 1957 and 1963 in the realms of the national security and a monetary policy, as well as in the title of a 1918 Neil Young album. The word in question is contrasted with doves. The Hawks? Yes. Next. Uh, Greg Glassman was a gymnast who wanted to get stronger in the multiple sport and exercises and created a regime focusing on conquering obstacles and training the whole body, blending gymnastics, weightlifting, pull-ups, and calisthenics. We know the, the method better as the name of which company that has been described as the biggest fitness chain. CrossFit. Correct again. This is CrossFit. And Shane. Reviewing this 39th novel in the Discworld series written by Terry Pratchett, author A.S. Bayat wrote that the title of the book referred to two different meanings of the word, an old-fashioned stimulant to be kept in elegant boxes and snorted gracefully in society, an arbitrary and unpleasant death. What is the one-word title of the book? Winner of the 2012 Bollinger, Everyman Good Host Press. Pass. Enough. Correct. Stop his leg. Well, 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 Your second. Portion from the 2009 The New Yorker Review of which book, adapted into a 2016 film directed by Bird Steers, 85% Austin, 15% a television writer named Set Graham Smith, and 100% Terry Pitt. Um, Fifty Shades of Grey. No, sorry, Coco. Ah, uh, pass. Coco. Pass. 
Sean? Um, Pride and Prejudice and Zombies. Yes, that's good. Oh, nice. <laughs> yes. That's right. I looked at that. Okay. Cool, cool. Also awarded the 2010 Pulitzer Prize for History, Lords of Finance, the Bankers Who Broke the World by Liaquat Ahmed, was awarded the 2009 Financial Times BBOY Award. The book is about the events leading up to the Great Depression and tells the story of the heads of four major central banks of the time. Benjamin Strong Jr. of the New York Federal Reserve, Montagu Norman of the Bank of England, Emily Murillo of the Bank de France, and which then head of the Reeks Bank. The individual was tried at the Nuremberg Trials but was acquitted. Five seconds. Pass. Doko? Can't remember. Pass. Shane? Pass. Sean? Can't remember. Pass. Okay, this is shot. Ah, uh, yeah. Oh. Okay, Goku. Beginning with uh, Lala Amarnath in 1923, Indian cricket was believed to have a century on debut curse. The first five batsmen to score centuries on debut never scored another one. Which player broke the curse when he scored his second test century against England at the Brabant Stadium in February 1973? His debut had come against Australia in Kanpur three years earlier. Sean? Five seconds. Pass. Roko? Pass. Shane? Pass. Sean? Mm. No, I pass. It'll be someone, obviously. This is Kundappa Vishwanath. Next one for the final round, Roko. Which famous painter was a White House guest for a weekend? In the middle of, uh, of February 1903, while he painted a portrait of the president. The portrait depicts Teddy Roosevelt as a strong and determined leader, reflecting his energetic and robust personality, a far cry from his early submission to the Paris Salon, which created a scandal depicting the young socialite Virginie Gautry. Not correct, sorry. Gokul? Whistler. No. Shane? Pass. Sean? Um, John Singer Sargent? Yes, that's correct. John Singer Sargent. Next one, Gokul. The basis of the 1972 films starring Diana Ross, what is the title of the 1956 autobiography by jazz singer Billy Holiday? Co-authored by William Dufty. It was also the title of Billy Holiday's 1956 album. Uh, Lady Sings the Blues. Correct. Sure. A play on the words on the French phrase for uh, ready to wear, which UK-based online fashion retailer specializes in high-end fashion and is the first online sales portal for designer clothes, according to the Gauchi. Mm. Better Porto. Correct. What is it? Better yeah. Porto. No, that's not what I said actually. I said I said I said Presser Porto. Yeah. Okay. To be okay. honest. All right. Uh, I'm not having any spare ones, so I think we need to have to scrap this question then. Uh, we 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 can just uh, go on. I, I I wouldn't have known it, so I remember that preta porter means uh, ready to wear, 
but uh, I wouldn't have guessed that, and I wouldn't have guessed Neto Porter anyway. So, I mean, would any would anyone else have guessed it? No, I was gonna if I was gonna take a stab, I was thinking it might be Preta Order. I was like, that's pretty clever. <laughs> I wasn't gonna guess. We can we can probably let it go for an X. Would you have got it? Go yeah, for? yeah, that's what I was thinking. Okay. Yeah, just let it go. It does either way, yeah. Right. Go, let it yes. go for an X. So, what is pass everyone then? Yeah, it's this. Okay, okay so one. that was me. Pass and Sean got the correct. Yeah. Yeah, the next one, I think I've done that. Yeah, you got yeah. that. Let, let it sink the blues, yeah. And then this can just go for an X, I suppose. Yeah. I, I, I probably should have got Netta Porto, but I didn't. So, oh well. Yeah, correct now. Okay, next one, Sean. Which painting by uh, Peter Bruegel, the Elder, that depicts Lucifer along with others banished from heaven? Is he watching in this BSNT video? Uh, zoom in, please. Sure. Oh, uh, yeah. What is this actually called? Um, okay, any answer? The, I, I can't remember what this is called. The Fallen Angels? Not Fallen Angels. Google? Pass. Roku? Pass. Shane? Pass. Okay, you were very close. This is the fall of the rebel. The fall. Of the rebel angels, yeah. Rebel angels, not yeah. the fallen angels. Yeah, I just couldn't remember. That's annoying. Shame. The dead men of Dunharrow in the Lord of the Rings, the Return of the King, have a Celtic influence, but their underground city is influenced by which historic city? It also inspired the architecture of the native freemen in Dune Part 2. Petra. Correct. Okay, next one for you again. Published in 1985, what is the title of this unauthorized biography of Led Zeppelin, criticized by the band members for its accuracy? The title is derived from the line in Immigrant Song. We come from the land of the ice and snow, of the midnight sun where the hot springs flow, the, the blank, 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 blank. We drive our ships to the new lands to fight the horde, sing and cry. Valhalla, I am Answer, please. The pass. Google. Pass. Doko. Pass. Sean. Uh, I don't. I don't know. Pass. Settles. Hammer of the. Missing all the. Ah, okay. okay. Last two for Google. Which rhyming term describes the boxing technique wherein a boxer leans against the ropes of the boxing ring and draws non-injuring offensive punches? Letting the opponent tire themselves out. It was most famously used by Muhammad Ali against George Foreman in the Rumble in the Jungle match. Float like a butterfly. No, sorry. Roku? Pass. Shane? Rope a dope. Correct. Rope a dope. And last one. In Toy Story 2, when Jesse first meets, uh, meets Woody, voiced by Tom Hanks, she says, sweet mother of blank blank. The mother of the blanked out person is Nancy Hanks, a blood relative of Tom Hanks. Fill the blanks with the name of a person.
بس ركو بس شين بس ام جيفن واسكن شون طيب هاي لينكن That is correct. That was the answer. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Well done, everyone. This brings us to the quiz. Thank you, yes. everyone. Everyone,